in this. Hello, everybody. Good. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. It's nice to have you. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Welcome. I hope everybody is okay at home. Happy and staying alive and healthy. Aleli, are you here, Aleli? Are you, are you here, Aleli? Teacher Aleli. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Good evening. guys. Welcome. Hello, hello. It's nice. Good evening, teacher. La forma de saludar. Good evening, teacher. Y good evening, teacher Aleli. <laughs> Oh, oh, that was very good. That was very good. Okay. <laughs> Aleli, how do you feel today? You better now? Aleli is a good teacher. So, so, teacher. Oh, that's wonderful. Ya se le ve otro semblante, ya. Yeah, you look better. Al, men, al menos ya me dieron ganas de peinarme, hijo. Órale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Great job. Yeah. So, welcome, people. Uh, it's nice to have you again. Uh, on this beautiful class, which is intermediate number two, right? Uh, welcome, welcome everybody. Uh, Bridget is here. Hello, Bridget. How are you? Hi, teacher. Welcome. Fine. Thank you. Sounds, sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. Okay. Oh, let me close this thing. A minute. Okay, let's save the changes. Give me a minute so I need to get the attendance of uh, people. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Merry, I mean, Christmas is coming, right? Are you ready for Christmas? Mm -hmm. Are you, uh, pretty much Black Friday is before Christmas. So I, I what about Black, what do you think Black, about Black Friday? It is Black Friday. <laughs> no, it's the Friday. <laughs> oh, Cesar, that is <laughs> Black Friday. <laughs> that makes it sense. Okay. Black, Black Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is expensive, right? It is like, um, no, I don't know. Like, no, man, Richard, do you, man, do you buy a Black Friday? Exactly, Cesar, exactly. Ernesto, no, I don't do that. I'm, I don't do that. Yeah, I don't buy, I don't buy stuff on Black Friday. Okay, I just, I just like save my money. That's what I do, right? Because it's like, it's very hard to to earn money. It's very hard to earn money, and I mean, I better have it for myself. You know what I mean? Maybe on food. I love food. That is something that I really love. But I don't spend money on the stuff like. Oh, that's the way. What about you, and Emerson? Do you do you buy things on Black Friday? Yes, the last years I buy the TV and refrigerator, pero ninguna de las dos cosas me sirvió. Un año me duró y se hizo por Oh, I'm sorry. So you Black bought Friday. Some... Black Friday. <laughs> Exactly. That's the thing what yeah, the sister then, was saying. Then, then, then exactly. Exactly. It doesn't work right. It doesn't work. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, we're going to work with section number two. We're going to have like a short review on do these things. We have two part verbs and models like can, would, could, would. And then we have, would you mind? Okay, uh, with this is class number three. And again, I hope that you're working in the platform, right? So you can like have the videos uh, and also have the practice over there so you can do it right uh, at home. So you, and, and here I will show you like extra material. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't work with, with, the, with the platform because sometimes it doesn't work like, like properly, let's say. So um, we're gonna do it like, like here, like I will bring the material here extra material so we can work uh, on extra exercise related to these topics. And then you can um, work at your path, at your path in the material that you have that you have available, your platform, okay? If, if you do not understand something, just raise your hand and let me know, okay? 
let me know anytime so I can explain to you, right? So this is the thing we are going to do today in class number three. Before we get into this one, uh, let me take the attendance really quick. Please, when you hear your name, say present, or you can say I'm here, okay? Aleli, welcome. Good evening. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Ana Cecilia Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Ana Cecilia Romero. Good evening, teacher. Present. Welcome again. Ana Janira Mendoza. I'm here, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Exactly. Bridget. Hello, Bridget. Hello, teacher. Present. Welcome. Thank you so much. Hey, Carmen Guadalupe Escamilla. Hello, Carmen. Are you here? Carmen, Carmen? No? Okay. She's absent. Uh, what about Cesar Ramirez? I am here, teacher. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, what about you, Edith Guzman? I am here, teacher. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Eduardo Alexander Najarro. Good evening, teacher. Thank you so much. Um, Elvis. I'm here, teacher. Welcome again, Elvis. Thank you so much. Emerson. Here, teacher. Welcome, welcome, Emerson. Uh, Stephanie Jamilet. Here, teacher. Good nice evening. Nice to see you again, Stephanie. Welcome. Fatima Asensio. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. Um, Jaime Aldana. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Jaime. It's nice to see you again. Jose. Hello, Jose. Hi, teacher. I'm here. Perfect. Thank you so much. Karen. Karen. I'm here. De Garcia. Thank you. Yeah, so, no, so, last name. How do you pronounce your last name? De Seña. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm sorry for that because it's De Seña. It's very beautiful, your last name. Thank you so much. Laura Arce. Present teacher. Welcome, Laura. Okay. What about you, Mel? Mer I'm sorry, Mar Marvin. Oops. I apologize. Marvin. I apologize. Okay. Miguel Quintanilla. Welcome, welcome, Miguel. Are you here? Miguel? No? Okay. So I think he's absent, right? Uh, Morena Fuentes. Hello, Morena. Are you here, Morena? Yes, yes, no. Okay, she's absent. What about Oscar? Present teacher. Welcome, Oscar. Thank you. Um, Raquel Santos. Hello, hello, Raquel. No? Okay, she's absent. Um, what about um, Santiago Chavez? Uh, I'm here, teacher. Perfect, Santiago. Welcome. Um, and Vilma Cartagena. Presente. Perfect, Vilma. How are you today, Vilma? Fine. <laughs> Do you have brothers and sisters, Vilma? Hola. Do you have brothers and sisters? Do you have brothers and sisters? Sí. Okay. Yes. How many How many brothers and sisters do you have? Yes. ¿Cuántos hermanos y hermanas tiene usted? How many brothers and sisters do you have? Dos hombres y tres mujeres. Oh, so you have two brothers and two sisters. Yes? Two. Two, two brothers and two sisters. Sí. Very good. Thank you so much for sharing that. Jaime Roberto Aldana, where are you, Jaime? Well, I'm, I'm well. Excuse me, uh, Where? where are you? Where? Where exactly. in my house here in Ayutuxtepec. Oh, how's yes. the weather? How's the weather over there? Uh, a little uh, fresh. Oh, that's fair. Yes. Do you like this kind of weather? Yes, I, I like this kind. Uh, I I hate hot weather. <laughs> oh, that's pretty much amazing. Very good. Uh, Jose. Hello, Jose Enriquez. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm okay. I'm very good. 
a little that's bit great. tired, but I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, that's true. That's true, right? It's like we work a lot during the day, and I really appreciate uh, your effort being here in class. A question for you. Christmas is coming, right? What do you do for Christmas, um, Jose? Usually I go, uh, I go to visit some friends when, uh, when the clock is close to 12, uh, to 12, uh, to the mid midnight, mm -hmm. I get back home to hug my mother and my, my uh, siblings. Yes. yes, very good. And my siblings. Yes. And it's like, like the uh, sun cinco for las doce, right? Yes, I get back <laughs> early to, to hug them. And that's it. I okay. used to eat a lot. What kind of food do you do you do you does does let's say does your family prepare for, for Christmas? My mother always prepare hang. I don't know how to say it. Hang? Yeah, that's uh, the way. That's the way. Uh, but I don't know how to say Gallina India. <laughs> okay, this, this is like it's a proper name, so you can say Gallina India. Ah, okay. Yes. Uh, it's the favorite dish of my mother, so she always prepared the same. Oh, and, do you love that kind of food? Yes, I love it. And uh, my sisters have tried to prepare the same plate, but they don't have the. Uh, it doesn't have the same taste. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My mother is unique. Oh yeah, that's true. Absolutely. And now, now that you mentioned your mother like it's very nice so enjoy your mom and i mean spend time with your mom as much as possible because that's really nice you know what i mean and like the food traditional food is very hard to cook right jose it's, it's not a piece of cake yes teacher it's kind of difficult and i can see my sisters trying hard and harder and harder and they don't get the same taste what about you what about you do you cook no, I don't, teacher. I never learned. Oh, I'm sorry. What about you, Cesar? Do you cook? What? Do you cook? Okay. Like, let's say, are you good at cooking? Um, oh, a little. Okay. <laughs> okay. What is, what, is, what is something that you cook and you think like is really, it tastes really good when you cook that? Right. Uh, All <laughs> right. You go with the face. You go with the face. Very good. Uh, okay. Soap, soap, uh, the chicken. Oh, the chicken. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Well, yes. With with Korean. Uh, uh, <laughs> excuse me. Yes. Yes. Um. So, no, no. no. Oh. <laughs> rice, <laughs> rice and chicken. Very good. Okay, we're gonna get uh, into this one just for you to remember. We saw this one already, but just to be specific with this information, what do you see in this picture here? Mm -hmm. Anybody, raise your hand, please. Raise your hand so I can see your name. Anybody, raise your hand. What do you see in this picture? No sé si ven la picture bien. Yes, we. Oh, yes, So let, let me see. What do you see in this picture? Those are uh, two-part verbs with some uh, furniture. With you can use it. Okay, can you give me with an example? You can use them. For example, uh, turn down the TV, turn up the volume, vol volume. Volumen? I don't know how to pronounce it. That is correct. That is absolutely right. Continue. Well, uh, turn off the fan. Turn on the radio. Exactly. Very good. That's correct. So here we have like this thing that is the verb, right? Turn. Turn, that is the verb, the specific. And then we have some additional, additional, let's say, vocabulary. Okay. So like on, which is a preposition, off as well, up and down, prepositions, right? So when we put them together, we have a different meaning, yes? We have a different meaning and we have different context, right? Like your classmate was saying, 
I think that was Jose, right? Yes, correct me if I'm wrong. Jose was saying like, we can use with this vocabulary, right? Like the volume, like the fan, the radio, the TV, yeah? And we can formulate some two-part verbs to indicate something to somebody, maybe to your uh, children, maybe to your husband, maybe to your wife, right? Or maybe to your siblings, right? Like you said something with a meaning, like the examples that your classmate was doing, okay? This one, we saw it in a video. Fortunately, we couldn't like, check it out, but here we have it. Now let's take a look up some information, yeah? Here we have this exercise, okay? Um, raise your hand for participation because we are going to do it together, okay? Um, let me see. Eduardo, read the instructions, please. Thank you so much. And also read these um, words that we have here in the box. Yes? Eduardo? Yes, teacher. Please, thank you. Um, oh, quiero manifestarle algo. Quiero read. manifestarle algo. Oh, yes, tell me. Eh, mm, a veces no participo porque siento que en los dos últimos módulos me he quedado un poquito atrasado y, y me frustro. No le entiendo a veces algunas partes. Oh, por, okay. eso me, por eso me quedo callado, pero me gusta participar. ¿Entendería yo que me está pidiendo que lea las instrucciones? Y ¿Sí? la que está en este chart. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Use the word in the box to the make to part, to part verb. You may use a word more than once. Away, down, off, on, out, up. Thank you. Away, away. Away. Thank you so much. Y déjeme okay. decirle algo. No se preocupe. Sí. Yo okay. sé, eso que usted le pasa, igual a mí me pasaba. No se preocupe, right? Okay, thank you, sí. teacher. Tenga la confianza, tenga la confianza que con practice, despacio, despacio, va a ir igual. Aquí en esta clase usted se puede equivocar mil veces, right? Inclusive hasta yo me puedo equivocar a veces, right? Okay, And thank you, are learning. So, igual, si algún compañero le puede ayudar, igual, no se preocupe, pida ayuda. Because everybody's learning here. So, that's, that's the thing. Y, y gracias que me dijo, right? Very good. Okay. Okay, so we're going to work with this ones, right? Tenemos las, these words here, like await, done, off, y vamos a colocárselas in this blank space, yeah? Over here, like this one. Clean up, okay? Raise your hand for participation so we can do it together, please. Raise your hand for participation. Oh, Jose, thank you. Number two. Uh, hang up. Hang up. Very good. Thank you so much. Somebody else? Somebody else? Alguien más? Somebody else? Raise your hand para participar. Laura. Thank you, Laura. Let out. Very good. Thank you so much. Out. Out. Okay. Um, thank you, Santiago. Pick up. Okay, very good. Corrígeme si me equivoco. Pick out. That is correct. Santiago. Are you up? Up. Oh, up. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. Pick up. Very good. Okay. Uh, and then we have Emerson. Thank you, Emerson. With number five. Away. Okay, read read the, the full the two the two words. Put away. Very good. Thank you so much. Um Anna, thank you. Number six. Take up. Take out. Like this one? No. Take up. Like the other one. Up. Take up. Uh, this one. Up. Up. Yes. yes. Very good. Jaime, thank you. Number seven. Yeah, yeah. Take away. Or take away. Take, or take off. Okay. So you can use like different ways, like different ways. This one, you can say take away, you can say take off, 
You can say take out. Sure, I can see you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ahora? No, I can no. see you, teacher. Sí. Le movió el cable, teacher. Oops. <laughs> no, hombre, espérame. No se ve nada. Dejo de compartir, se borra todo. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. <coughs> Let me see. I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, okay, now. Espérame que está cargando. Que me menos. What about now? That's good. Okay, yes. okay. Sí, es que esta cosa, I don't know why. Okay, uh, estamos with number eight, right? Number eight, uh, Janira, thank you. Janira, number eight. Uh, let down, teacher. Oh, number eight, this one? Ah, uh, perdón, throw away. Throw away, very good, okay. Uh, Karen, thank you. Oh. Turn on, okay. And the last one? Turn off. Off. This one. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. So that's the way, right? So we have a verb and then we have an extra word so we can have two words together. Okay. Questions about this? This is just like, don't yes. have... Somehow it's like complicated sometimes. It's un poquito difícil sometimes, right, Emerson? Um, pero puede utilizar estos, por ejemplo, como les decía, in different ways, in different ways. Más de alguna vez. Por ejemplo, este, take. You, puede, you can say take, take out, or you can say take away. You can say take down, okay, depending on the context that you're talking about, okay? Um, take home. Exactly. So you have different options to use uh, these ones. We're going to have another exercise. Let me see if I have it. Give me a minute. Sorry. Okay. Which is this one? Look at this one. Okay. We are going to formulate like, like typical sentences, right? Yes. So we have pick and then we have some milk. We have two columns, A and column B. Yes. So we need to select one that goes with column A and another one that goes with column column uh, B to complete the uh, command, right? Or to complete the phrase. Yes? Yes, entonces vamos a seleccionar one of these ones y luego one complement que vaya related to this one. ¿Sí? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Questions at home? This size. Questions? Do you understand? Okay, what about Karen? 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 Creo que ella se le olvidó bajar la mano. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. okay. Alili, I'm sorry. Do you have a question? Excuse me, teacher. Who okay. is criticizes? Oh, criticize. Oh, this criticize. is like. It's like Cicratiz when you have... No, no, cicratización. Excuse me? No, no es cicratización, no, no, ¿verdad? No, no, no. It's like something when, you, when somebody speaks about somebody else. You know what I mean? Maybe something good or maybe something negative. Criticar. <laughs> exactly. No, <laughs> Thank you, Marzo. <laughs> Yo no dije nada. You're so nice. You're so nice. Uh, okay. Oh, thank you. Quien haya sido. <laughs> That's why. Pero yo quiero escuchar también qué fue lo que dijo yo porque no me entendí. Ah, uh, que no hay que criticar, así está diciendo. Exactly. Uh -huh. Exactly. Not okay. criticize. Not criticize. Okay. So this is the way we have it. We have one phrase here, and we need to get the complement. What is the complement of this one? Rest. Yeah. Okay. Um, when you're ready with your participation, just raise your hand so we can do it. Santiago, thank you. For example, teacher, uh, take off your sunglasses. Your sunglasses, okay, very good. Thank you so much. Uh, let me go with the next one, that's Santiago. 
Thank you, Santiago. Santiago, tell me one, please. Oh, you did it uh, already. You did it already, right? Okay, Aleline. Somebody. Yeah, somebody else, I'm sorry. Aleline? Um, not criticize DTV. Not criti criticize, not, not criticize the TV. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in here, Aleline, you have a mistake because the word criticize, como dijo your classmate, is criticar. Yeah? Okay. So you need to work with the country. Are your bedrooms? My friends. My friends. Oh, my friends. Exactly. Hay varias opciones. Exactly. <laughs> no, no, but this is about the context. You know what I mean, Annelie? Okay. This is about the context. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Jaime, thank you. Uh, sure. Excuse me. I have a question. What means these bills? Oh, let me see. These oh, bills. These bills. Okay. Bills are like the things that you pay. When you get like Claro bills, you got, I don't Recibos. know. Recibos. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Then Some of are bills, Jaime. Maybe okay. could be mail these, these bills. Oh, okay. Okay. That makes sense. Mail these bills. Okay. Exactly. Right. Because you get your bills through the mail, to the mail. Very good. Karen, thank you. Um, not talk so loudly. Not talk too oh, so so loud loudly. Loud, so loud. Loud. Very good, uh, Laura. Very good, Laura. You next. Clean up the bedroom. Okay, very good. Clean up your bedroom. Mm -hmm. Oh, if you have children, Laura, right? This thing is like. You, use, you say this thing pretty much a lot, right? Anna, Cecilia, thank you. Turn down the TV. Turn down the TV, exactly, right? So you have the TV when you're watching the, I don't know, what is this thing? I don't know, when you're watching a movie, right? sometimes you have it so like loudly, so you can turn, turn down the TV. Okay, so that means, no es apagar, it's just the volume. It's just the volume. And the last one, thank you, uh, Cesar. Um, la que queda es. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put away the groceries. Groceries, very good. ¿Sabe qué significa groceries, Cesar? Es como. ¿Cómo le digo? <laughs> los comestibles, comestibles. It's <laughs> a candy. Exactly, mm -hmm. los comprados. Los sí, sí. comprados. Okay. <laughs> exactly. right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Very good. Sure. What's the meaning? Put away. Oh, put away. It's like um, let's say when you have like um your things and you need to put it in a specific place, so you put away your 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 things. You know what I mean? In a, in a, in a specific spot. That is the meaning of put away. Like oh, for example, you, you have better, your, right? Uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. Como organizar. Organizar. Exactly. organizar. Exactly. Okay. Um, that's, that's the way. That's the way. Igual, tiene que trabajar siempre con el context, right? Work a little bit with the context. Okay, so you can uh, you can have an idea with that. But most of the time, the context is or como organizar something, right? So you put away your, let's say, school belongings, or you can put away your work uh, belongings, okay? Ya vamos a trabajar esto con something that is called um, modal verbs. Ya lo vamos a trabajar together, so you can have an idea how this thing works. Give me a minute. Hey, Jaime, do you have a question? Sorry, Jaime. I'm sorry, teacher, I forget to... Oh, you forgot, you yes. forgot. Yes. Thank you so much, no problem. Okay, here we have modal verbs. Okay, which is like the main thing we're gonna talk about this one. Uh, we couldn't saw the video, unfortunately, but if you have the chance, you can watch that thing in, your, in the platform. Here we're gonna have some things about how do we use modal verbs uh, with polite requests, polite requests. We have, here we're gonna take a look with, with four, okay? With three, but we're gonna have an additional thing. 
can and could. Okay. Um, in this part, we're going to have some uh, participation. A the no, I'm sorry, Bridget. Are you there, my Bridget? I layer this information. Yes, I'm crazy. This one. This one. Okay, teacher. This one. Okay. Model verbs are used in English to make a can and can and call. Can and call are modal verbs used to make requests. Her in is the structure. Can call plus subject plus verb. Thank you so much. Very good, Bridget. We have can and could. Could, can, and could. Okay, Oops. these ones are modal verbs, right? That's we use to make requests. Request. The structure, the structure is this one. We have the modal verb, can or could, plus the subject, plus the verb, like the examples in here. Okay, Cesar, ayúdeme a leer los examples, please. Thank you. Can you pay the cell, please? Call you bring cool. your book tomorrow. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. So the first one is Can you pass the salt, please? Can you pass the salt, please? Again, like the structure, we have can. Then we have the subject, which is you. And then we have. The pasar la sal, ¿verdad? Exactly. Could you pass the salt, please? Yeah. When you go to Pollo Campero, right? The first thing that you request is salt. Can you pass the salt, please? Can you pass the salt, please? Yeah. So this is a request, right? You are asking to somebody a favor, right? So you're requesting the product, in this case, the salt. Can you pass the salt? And also we use, cuando pedimos request, usually we use please, right? Please, very good. And then we have the next one, which is, could you, could you bring you homework tomorrow? Could you bring you homework tomorrow? Could you bring you homework tomorrow? Again, we have can. Subject and the verb. Yes. Just quick recommendation. I mean, get verbs. Try to get learn verbs or practice verbs as much as possible because that's that's the key. There is a slight differently, uh, a slight difference between can and could. Okay, because can is less polite than could. Okay, Aleli. Excuse me, teacher. Uh, you say cam and call only uh, in interrogation? Oh, no, right now because it's a request, Aleli. Right now oh. because it's a request. Por eso es que está solo así. Yes. Okay. In other sentences, it's otro contexto. You know what I mean? It's something else. And this okay. one, some questions because it's a request. That's okay. why we have questions. Okay. Okay. Um, Jose, thank you. Teacher, I think it's very important to practice the pronunciation because what I'm listening is lata and frío, cold and can. And oh. I think they have to practice the pronunciation. Exactly, exactly, Jose. We have can, can, and could. Can and could. Can and could. Yes? Can and could. Can you pass the salt, please? Unfortunately, sometimes when we, we speak, sometimes very fast, um, it's like, uh, we don't know it's pretty much like a really good uh, pronunciation. We, we work pretty much with the contents, right? Um, but again, uh, practice pronunciation with this one. Can, can you pass the salt, please? Could, could. Could, could you bring you book tomorrow? And I think I said could. home. Could, could, could. exactly. Could. 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 Can you pass could. the salt, please? Right. Exactly. Can you pass the salt, please? Can you pass the salt, please? Can you pass the salt, please? Very good. Thank you so much, Jose. That was very good. Um, let's take a look at the other one. Okay. Here we have one more thing. Oh, sorry, I forgot to delete this thing. Okay. Here we have more examples of finalists, right? 
give me a minute because I couldn't delete this one. Here we have more examples. Laura, can you help me reading these examples, Laura, please? Thank you. Okay. Can, can it just to make basic requests from a friend or coworker? It is often used to use for small things. Can you can you pass the juice? Can you turn off the air conditioner? Thank you so much, Laura. That was very good. So it's like a basic request, right? With a coworker or a friend. Often, often used for small things, right? Like, can you pass the juice? Very good. Can you turn off the air conditioner? Yeah, so it's small things, right? With with a small request, let's say, or basic things that you do. Thank you so much. Uh, I think we have Eduardo. Thank you, Eduardo. Can you continue with the examples, please? Thank you. Okay, teacher. Um, read? Oh, yes, please continue. Good. Um, cool. Good. Cool. Cool is, cool is more politan, politan can, but has the some function. Could continue, you, please. Could, could you pass the juice, please? Could you help my with my homework, Mr. Johnston? Thank you so much. We have good is more polite, more polite than can. Right? Could more polite than can, but has the same function, right? So we were talking about this thing in the previous uh, information. Will you pass the juice, please? Will you pass? Could you pass the juice, please? Could you help me with my homework? Mr. Jumpstone, okay? And then at the end, we have this one, which is would. Would is another one to request something, right? When we want to be polite, you can use would as well. Would, would. Would you close the door, please? Will you help me cook dinner, please? So this, again, these model verbs are for you to do something polite, to request something polite to somebody, you can use this too. Let's take a look up some examples with another one, which is would, but this one is would you mind? Would you mind? Okay, uh, let me see. Oscar, are you the mejor? Oscar, help me out with this one, please. Please, can you read this information and also the examples? The, the would, would you mind? mind? Yeah. Okay. Would you mind is a phrase used to politely ask someone to do something. This phrase is, this phrase is also used to ask someone permission to use or do something such as eating something of theirs of theirs or borrowing something. Continue, Oscar, please. Would you mind doing these dishes? Would you mind helping your sister clean the house while we're gone tonight? Thank you so much, very good. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, yeah, so pretty much would you mind is another thing that we can use when we want to uh, do something politely, right? Yeah, when you do something politely, uh, you can use would you mind? Would you mind doing? Would you mind helping? We will see this one in this book, as you may know, doing, helping, um, which is something that Jaron. Here we go with Jeremy with this one, okay? We will see it later, in the future, okay? How this, this Jeremy help us a lot uh, in a daily basis, okay? So uh, would you mind is another one that we can use when we want to ask for a, a polite request. Questions? 
Oh, this one. Do you have any question? I have a question, teacher. Oh, perfect. Uh, Thank you. Let me know. What the meaning would you mind? Would you mind? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's like in Spanish, it's like uh, te importaría, right? Okay. It's something like that. Okay. Te importaría, that's the way, exactly. Te importaría ayudarme con esto, right? Or like, um, Elvis, thank you. Uh, veo que con would you mind se utiliza eh, el gerundio. Uh -huh, uh -huh. El verbo en gerundio siempre va así o, o, o a veces no? Well, most of the time goes like this one. Most of the time. There are exceptions, obviously. Okay. But most of the time, if you see the structure, that's the way it goes. Okay. It's like, for example, um, tenemos esta typical expression, right? Okay. A veces, a veces la decimos. When we're talking about something that you do. Okay, like, for example, I like, okay, I like, yep, so I have a like, but then I need to know uh, something that I do, right? So I can use yearn to, to make it real, right? So I can say, I like playing um, tennis, let's say, okay. I love playing tennis. Oh, I did a mistake. <clears throat> I love playing tennis, okay? So if you notice, here I have Jaron because I have another verb here. So grammatically, we don't have two verbs together. So we can separate them with something or we can use a grammar structure to indicate um, something else with the same in it. So in this one, it's, it's quite the same. It's quite the same. So we have mine. Okay, which is a verb, and then we have another verb. So that's why we need to use with ing, with, with the gerund, uh, to indicate uh, the action, okay? Very good, great question. Uh, let's have some practice, give me a minute. Is that thing? Oh my gosh. Okay. Here we're gonna practice, here we're gonna practice the two, um, the two exercises. And this one. Oh, what is that thing? We're going to press the two exercises in the following exercise and the following example. And this one. Okay. So you have a sentence. So you have a sentence, right? And then you have in parentheses one, let's say, modal verb. You have can, you have could, would you mind, would you mind, would. And you have can one more time. Okay. So, what are you going to do? You have some, let's say, sentences over there. You are going to write the sentences, right, using the words given. So, you need to rewrite the sentences using this that we have here. Okay. Do you remember? I think you did this one in the platform. You did it, right? Yes. You did it, or you haven't done it yet? You have a similar exercise like this one in the platform. I don't know how, if you check that already. But in this one, you have quite the same. So you need to write like, rewrite the sentence, but you need to use the vocabulary that is in parentheses, right? Like this one. Mm, so we have, can you turn off your cell phone, please? Yep. So what about the second one? How, how do we do the second one? Well, you meant take this for to the office. Okay. Would you mind? Taking. Oh, oh, we have taken. Look at that, Alili. So would you mind? Would you mm -hmm. mind taking this taking. form to the office? Would you mind? taking this form to the office, okay? Very good. Is it converting pregunta? Yes, that is correct, that is correct, because it's a request. This one are requests. 
So that's why we need to make make it a question. Okay, very good, Alili, great job. Uh, somebody else with number three. Hmm? With could. Oh, could you please turn the TV down? Very mm. good, very good. Thank you so much. Yeah, you see, you got this. One is pretty much very good. Um, somebody else with number four. Mm -hmm. What about number four? Number four is somehow difficult. Yep. Oh, Santiago. Thank you, Santiago. I will try to. Sure, sure. Would you mind don't don't leave in? Continue. Wet towel on the floor. Wet towels, towels on the floor. Towel okay. on the floor. Can you repeat that, please? Would you mind? Would you mind don't leave in? Wet towel on the floor. That is correct. Mm, I think um living creo que ahí sí no sorry no y que está negativo exactly exactly okay mm -hmm. very good somebody else has a different response in number with number four with number four somebody else does somebody else have a different response with number four Oh, let me see. Elvis. Thank you, Elvis. I think, uh, would you mind don't leave wet towels on the floor? Okay. Let me see somebody else. Very good. Yeah. That's correct. Would you mind don't leave wet towels on the floor? What about number five? Who's ready with number five? Teacher, excuse me, se convirtió en una pregunta negativa. Oh. Se convirtió en una pregunta negativa. That is a good question. My very good, Adeline. So do we have negative questions? Or do we have just a normal question? Mm -hmm. Let me know. I think it is a negative question. It is a negative question. What do you think about that, Ali? Is that a negative question? Or we could just have like, would you mind? No, it's a negative question. Yo lo siento como un sarcasmo. <laughs> like, like sarcasm. Okay. Thank you, Emerson. Like sarcasm. Okay. Like. Would you mind? Yeah. Don't leave wet towels on the floor. Elvis? I, I think it's a request. No negative question. It's a request. Exactly. Exactly. Because it's a request. Exactly, Ali. That is that is the difference. Because it's a request. You know what I mean? It's like, would you mind some leave work towels on the floor? Yeah, that 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 thing makes sense to you, Aleli? Oh, it can be good. Would you mind Tom leave web towels on the floor? Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because it's like a request, you know what I mean? And um, the idea is like, well, the message is like, please don't do not do that, you know what I mean? Don't, don't do that. Right, okay. so it's like, uh, it's like based on the information, it's like that person did it already, like like okay. he or she did it already. And like here we're just like letting he or her know that please like okay. don't do it, you know what I mean? Okay, thank you. Um number five. What about number five? Will you text me today's homework assignment? Okay. Assignment. Exactly, assignment. Assignment. Exactly, homework assignment. Thank you. Perfect, 
that was really good. And the last one, please. Thank you, Emerson. Can you pass me this book, please? Uh, that book. That book. Very good. Thank you so much, Emerson. Great job. Okay. Um, let's have another exercise about this one. Here we have three options, right? We have like a blank space, and then in the middle, we have three options. So we can complete this one, okay? So you need to select what is the correct one. We have recycling bin, living room, refrigerator, and the other one we have dry cleaning, groceries, and we have towers. And number three, we have faucet, oven, stereo. And with number four, we have mistake, request, and promise. So you need to pick out one of the three options to complete the sentence, okay? Okay, um, let me check the time. I will take the attendance and then I will check this exercise. So you can take a screenshot of this one so you can do it in the meantime, okay? I'm going to take the attendance right now at the second time. And in the meantime, you can do this exercise and then we will check this together. Okay. Um, what is the list? Give me a minute. Um, Aleli. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Ana Cecilia Rodriguez. Hi, teacher. Thank you. Ana Cecilia Romero de Dominguez. Present, teacher. Ana Yanira Mendoza. Here, teacher. Bridget Lisset Erazo. I'm here, teacher. Carmen Guadalupe Camilla. Carmen Guadalupe Camilla. Carmen, are you here? Present, teacher. Thank you so much, Carmen. Um, Cesar Ramirez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Edith. Guzman. Present, teacher. Thank you, Eduardo Najarro. Present, teacher. Elvis. I'm here, teacher. Emerson. I'm here. Stephanie. I'm here, teacher. Fatima. Present, teacher. Jaime. I'm here, teacher. Jose. Present teacher. Karen. I'm here. Laura. Present teacher. Marvin. Present teacher. Miguel. Miguel Quintanilla. No, no Miguel today? Okay. Um, teacher, en el, en el chat puso algo desde un inicio, Miguel. Oh, check. Uh, sorry. Oh, okay. Thank you so much for letting me know. Thank you so much. Um, let me see Morena. Hello, Morena. No, okay. What about Oscar? Present teacher. Thank you, Raquel. Present teacher. Thank you, Raquel. Um, Santiago. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. We have Vilma. Cartagena. Presente. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay, let's get back to the exercise. Um, together, participation, raise your hand if you want to be the first one. Okay. Um, with number one. With number one. Raise your hand if you want to be the first one. Okay, we have four exercises. So that means Jaime. Thank you, Jaime, number one. Put them uh, throw those empty bottles away. Put them in the recycling bin. Okay, okay, very good. Recycling bin. Thank you so much. Very good. Elvis. Okay. Thank you so much, Elvis. Number two. Okay. Would you mind picking up some groceries? We need coffee, milk, and rice. Very good. Very good. Thank you so much. That is great. It's like when you're with your wife, right? Like talking about something, so you can ask her about this one. Um, somebody else with number three. Somebody else with number three. 
let me know, let me know. Oh, oh Janira, thank you, Janira. Turn the faucet off, whether it costs money. Oh, is that true? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely right. Yeah, it costs a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, then we have a Karen. Thank you, Karen, with number four. Mm -hmm. My my neighbor made a promise. He said, "I be sure to stop my dog from barking." From barking. Very good. Okay. Promise. Promise. My neighbor made a promise. Okay. He said, "I'll be sure to stop my dog from barking." That's pretty much very difficult. Excuse me? En la última. Mm -hmm. podría ser request. Promise. No, I'm sorry. Request? Promise. Request. Request. Promise. No. I will. Ah, okay. Okay. With this one, with Excuse me. <laughs> no, that's okay. It's because of the future, and sometimes future is unpredictable. So that means that it's like um, sometimes we do it, and sometimes we we don't do it, right? Because it's it's the future. You know what I mean? Um, so that that's why we have a promise because we promise. Sometimes we promise something, right? Right. Um, it's like when we're doing like let's say a, a task or maybe we're doing like homework we say so no don't worry i will help you with that and and we don't do it or sometimes when when you like get in love for the first time right when you get in love for the first one usually um she or he says like i will love you forever and like Sometimes that's that's true, right? But sometimes that's not. So that's why we use will because it's like a promise, nothing like maybe it won't happen in the future. Okay. Questions about this content? People, do you have a question about this content? No. No. Excuse me, I have one question. Uh, oh. Can we can we use uh, will will mine? I, I can remember. Would you mind? Would you mind to to ask questions? Yeah, yeah. Like this one, for example. Like this one that we have here. Would you mind? Exactly. Okay, okay like thank you. One. Would you mind picking up groceries? Aquí tenemos el question mark. Entonces, um, aquí tenemos el question mark, which is a question. Yes. Okay. I, I got it. Thank you. Yeah. Perfect. And sometimes we can ask like different, like depending on the context, right? We can work with the context a lot. In English, we work with the context a lot. So um, that's why I insist a lot. Whenever, whenever you do not understand something in when you're reading it, work with the context. So that can give you, that can give you the key. If you know what I mean? Uh, work with the context because that helps us a lot. Okay. I think we're finished, people. Yeah, it's time to go to sleep. Okay, I hope so, right? I hope so. Uh, so you go to bed at this time, okay? Um, if you have children, I'm sorry for you, but you need to do stuff like like <laughs> taking care of them. Yeah, but it was really nice. Okay, thank you so much for being here. Uh, and also, um, you're really doing a really great job. I love you. Okay, uh, see you tomorrow. Take care. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night, everybody.